Mr. Weston, you say you're the one selling drugs at Stansfield. Your proof? My proof is course correct. It's an app that I built. But how do we know that you're the one behind the app? Here is paperwork from CERN Enterprises that shows that I am the president of course correct. There are a lot of reasons why Braden took the blame for course correct and free his friend Tariq. Some of the reason is to protect his family, his friend and himself. If he hadn't taken the stand, he and his family would have been in more danger. In this video, I'll be talking about the key reasons why Braden saved Tariq. How Tasha and Yaz will still be in touch with Tariq even though they were asked not to do so. And if you all allow me, I want to address Yaz and Tasha as we all knew them instead of their new cover names, Vanessa and Olivia. I know you can relate more to Yaz and Tasha, so for the purposes of comprehension, I will stick to the old names. And also, in this video, I will talk about Lorenzo killing Zeke and Lawrence death and of course if you are new to my channel kindly hit the subscribe button and join the family if you have already subscribed thanks for the support now let's get straight into business first of all i think Braden did the right thing for himself his family and Tariq. the two reasons Braden decided to save Tariq, in my opinion is one because he knows that Tariq has no one reliable in power to save him if Braden takes the fall and admit he was the one selling the drugs and not Tariq, his father would do anything for him not to end up in jail. And Braden knows that if he end up in jail, it will surely affect his father. So why go against his friend to end up in jail when he knows that if he confess, Tariq won't end up in jail? In other words, it's a win-win situation for Braden somehow. He becomes a hero in front of Tariq, his best friend will walk free and will be indebted to him, which means Tariq will owe him a favor which I will be talking about soon. Now, the second reason Braden saved Tariq the way he did is because if Lauren's death blow back on Braden and Tariq finds out he allows Ife to do what she did, then taking the fall in an open court is what Braden can use to manipulate Tariq to forgive him. He will make it seem like Kane would have killed Lauren anyways. And also, Braden will refer Tariq to what Kane said to him on his way out of the dome. Took care of all that shit, right? Yeah, I took care of it all, everything. We're all good. Tariq might feel betrayed when he finds out, but this is one way Braden can give an excuse to his action. The person who needs to find an excuse for killing Lauren is Afe, because she won't find it easy from Tariq if he finds out she killed Lauren and acted like she knew nothing. Now, what Braden did again was to protect his family, especially his brother, such that he wouldn't end up saying things that would put all of them in danger. Like we all know Trace, he would have spoken without thinking of the consequences and Kane would have put a bullet in his head and probably his entire family. One can say Braden killed three birds with one stone. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you think Braden had more reasons to do what he did apart from what I stated. Moving on, I know you were excited to see Tasha again and the fact that Yaz is back and safe with her. I was happy too and it was nice seeing Tasha again. Now question is how long their safety will last before Tommy catches Tasha. Now remember the only reason Tasha is in Whitsec is because of Tommy. For now Tommy is in Chicago finding his feet so we can all agree Tasha and Yaz are safe. Now this is what is not safe for Tasha and Yaz the teddy bear Tariq gave Yaz. If you remember, he hid a phone in it for Yaz to contact him when she was taken to foster care. Now, that phone is still in the teddy bear and Yaz brought that same teddy bear along to Witsec. And if you remember, Tariq disposed the phone his mother could have called him on, so there is no way Tasha can get in touch with Tariq. Now, with this phone in the teddy bear, there is going to be contact between Tariq and Yaz or his mother. Well, as to whether this is safe for Tasha and Yaz or not, I want you to leave your comments below. Let's have this side of the conversation there. In addition, I have noticed something and I don't know how many of you saw it as well. Now, this scene where Tasha is still hugging Yaz, the look she gave the car Tariq and Saz were in suggests to me that she noticed her son was inside the car. Her expression speaks volume as if she is satisfied having her children closer to her for a minute. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Do you think Tasha saw or noticed that Tariq was sitting in the car? Personally, I think Tasha noticed Tariq was in the car. I guess her expression was the reason Tariq attempted to get out of the car. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. Now, let's talk about Lorenzo and the Tahara family. Now, 
I personally felt sad a little about how everything played out, especially for Monet and Lorenzo in the sense that for the first time Monet openly admits to being Zeke's mother to a stranger was when she was told her son is dead. The guardian of Ezekiel Cross? Yes, this is his mother. I am sorry to inform you that your son, Ezekiel Cross, is dead. That was sad for me, but she caused it herself by lying to the kid all the time. Had it not been her lies, Zeke wouldn't have insisted on finding the truth. After discovering the truth was when he decides to join them in the plane. And now his tragic death was the result of Monet's lies. Lorenzo didn't know he was shooting Zeke. All he thought was he was shooting Mecca. So for once, I don't blame Lorenzo because I don't think he would have shot Zeke knowingly. Now, someone will ask how come he couldn't notice that wasn't Mecca. Lots of reasons. The car alone he came with shows it wasn't Zeke since that was too expensive to be Zeke's. Secondly, if you notice, Zeke and Mecca have the same height, so it will be difficult to tell from behind. Now, the only thing Lorenzo could have used to distinguish between Mecca and Zeke was Mecca's hairless head. But in this case, Zeke had a hoodie on, so there is no way Lorenzo could have known he was shooting Zeke. So if you ask me, I think Lorenzo just mistakenly shot Zeke for Mecca. Now, it's up to him to own up to Monet and the kids or hide it to himself for as long as God knows before Monet finds out. If only Monet is not aware already. Finally, it has been established that Lauren is indeed dead and the cause of death was an accident. Now, this is what I think Ife did to Lauren. If you remember before Ife took Lauren away, she knocked her out and she was unconscious. So I'm guessing after some few minutes she drove off, she dragged Lauren to the driver's seat, wore the seat belt for her, set the car on drive, probably descending a slope. Then she quickly jumped off before the car gained high momentum. Then Lauren went and crashed, still in her unconscious state. Now, let me know what you think about Lauren's death and how else you think Ife would have made it look like an accident. Now, leave your thoughts in the comment section about everything that happened in the finale. Once again, thank you guys for the 11k. Let's make it to 20k soon. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button if you are new. Like, share, and don't forget to leave your comments below. Catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching.